Hello everybody, it's Mike from Pell River, British Columbia, and tonight I'm just going to do a video on my cucumbers, which I grow upright, and I use the same system as I use for my upright squash, and that is, I use a cage, and the cage is made out of wire fencing, and uh, it uh, has large holes in it so you can reach through it and tend to your plants, so what I did is I fastened the loop the uh, wire fencing into a cage I rolled it and fastened it you can see uh, this is where I joined it together you know, very simple and uh, I dug it into the ground here and uh, so it gives it more support the wind won't uh, won't blow it over and uh, what I planted inside was two uh, cucumber vines and uh, I planted two different kinds of cucumber. One's called a summer breeze and the other's called a green dragon. Uh, here's a, a summer breeze cucumber here. And uh, over here you can see the uh, green dragon cucumbers. They're quite a bit longer. They're both good cucumbers. I uh, enjoy them both. And uh, you get a lot of cucumbers, at least I do. I seem to get more than uh, than we can eat, but you know, we take them over to the neighbors, and they really enjoy them. So uh, what I do is, as the uh, cucumber vine grows, I uh, I wrap it around the cage, and I I just weave it in and out of the cage, in through the uh, through the holes in the cage, and. And uh, here's a good example over here. You can see this vine, how I've got, I tucked it inside the cage here and then I tucked it, came outside and wrapped it around this hole and then back into this hole over here. So basically you train it to grow around the, uh, the cage. And uh, it's a great system because you know then the cucumbers uh, just hang off the uh, the vine, keeps them off the ground, and it keeps them clean, and uh, usually they grow straighter too because when they when they hang they tend to grow straight. Um, this one here is so, so big it's already hitting the bottom of the cage. Uh, okay, so it's quite a quite a simple system but uh, as you can imagine I'll step back here you can see there's quite a bit of vine here it would probably fill up this whole bed if it were just growing on the ground and uh, and a cucumber it doesn't really need as long as you got good healthy soil it doesn't really need a lot of soil to grow in so by forcing it to grow upright you utilize the space above your bed and uh, you keep the uh, you keep it the plant uh, compact in a in a small area and you can see around the bed uh, next to the cucumber you know I got other plants growing like I got kohlrabi here I've already harvested uh, this was just full of kohlrabi and uh, over here I got uh, some heads of cabbage growing and uh, in here I got uh, strawberries but uh, if I were to let this cucumber grow it would probably take over this whole section of bed and maybe even some of this one and um, you really don't need to uh, uh, the cucumber vine doesn't really need that amount of area um, it grows perfectly fine in an upright uh, cage like this. So this is a way to utilize the space of your garden better and um, and uh, allows you to grow more and make use of the, uh, the soil. And by having a raised bed you can uh, put lots of compost in it. Um, you're not wasting it uh, because you can fully utilize the bed really the resource in, in, uh, in, in a vegetable garden is your soil and uh, so you want to make sure you get full use of it and 
and by having a smaller raised bed like this you can really enhance the soil and add lots of nutrients and compost and all different kinds of things to it and uh, and rather than uh, letting the vine sprawl over the whole thing and take over it uh, by keeping it contained in a containment system like this, an upright cage, you can uh, really utilize the soil. And uh, the goal, you know, in the backyard vegetable growing is, uh, for me anyway, is to grow as many different kinds of vegetables as I can using a small amount of uh, area. So it's actually a lot easier to, uh, to do that because you don't need to spend as much time uh, tending to the soil and amending putting amendments into the soil and weeding it and all that stuff that goes along with a vegetable garden um before i go here I've got a super nice sunset i don't know, can't really see that but really nice sunset tonight in powell river i'll just show you uh the squash where i use the same idea here's the upright squash you can see one growing right there uh, there's another one growing down there. Uh, same idea um, as I also got another video showing how to grow upright squash. So you may want to check some of my other videos out. But same idea, it grows in a vine and you just wrap it around the cage. You weave it in and out. And uh, after a while, the, the squash um, uh, does, does the work for you. It, you. You essentially train it by weaving it in and out of the cage like this and eventually it will start doing it itself a little bit so you don't need to get out as often to to train it um, anyway this squash you can see is a huge plant I got actually uh, three of them in the cage there let's see if I can walk around here so you get a there's another squash growing right down there but um, I don't know if you can see the cage there, but uh, it's about six feet high and it's dug into the ground. And the squash plant's totally contained within it. Uh, right beside it, I have another cage about the same size. And I had uh, peas growing in that, but the summer heat uh, kills the peas off. So they're done now, they've all gone brown. And uh, by growing the squash right beside it, I can also utilize this cage. So, you know, the squash is starting to grow right in, into this cage now and take over. By the end of the summer, it will take over this cage and give it some more area to, to, to go grow into. Um, because this cage, uh, there's the top of it there. And you can see, uh, you know, it's getting near the top now. I find, though, uh, in the season that rarely reaches the top uh, anyway that's uh, my garden as it is right now um, and it's August I'll just show you one other thing uh, before I go here here's my grapevine you can see the grapes on it lots of grapes it's just loaded with grapes they're green right now but it won't be long before they're ready. They're starting to plump up. These are real tasty grapes. And that, you know, with the grapevine, it's the same thing. I, I got this grapevine. It's growing on a trellis against the wall here. And uh, so I've trained it on there and, and fastened it to the, uh, to the trellis. You can just see the trellis inside here. It's made of wood. There's all the grapes, tons of grapes. Lots of grapes. And you can see them all over here. Tons of grapes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these grapes, but they'll get eaten nonetheless. Uh, you can make wine with them, I guess. But I don't, but uh, some people do in the neighborhood. Anyway, uh, that's the same idea with a grapevine. Um, 
they don't need to take over your whole garden, your whole yard. You can train them up a, a trellis. And uh, the whole point of this video, though, is to show you how you can train uh, squash to grow upright. And uh, you can grow your cucumbers upright. And uh, right here I got um, my beans. And they're growing on uh, rebar. Here's the rebar here. And I just poked that into the ground at the beginning of the year, put a bunch of beans at the bottom, and they just crawled all the way up to the top there. And uh, we got lots of beans out of these. And feed, it, feed the family for quite a while. I don't know if you can see them there hanging off the, uh, the top. We've already picked a bunch off the bottom, but there's still lots more coming on their way. Again, this is uh, is utilizing the uh, the space above the garden soil um, by growing pole beans. Um, you know, the, like I was saying earlier, whenever you can, you should try to uh, get your plants to grow upright, and uh, that way they take up uh, way less area and you get way more uh, production and. Uh, it's uh, worked really well for me. Um, here's a cage I got here with two tomato plants. I put, I'm growing them in pots, and the tomatoes are, are growing up. I don't really do much for these. So I don't train them. I, you know, sometimes I'll grab one like this one and and just uh, weave it around the cage a bit, so it supports it. But uh, you know, again, this is a is a easy system for uh, growing tomatoes. Um, nothing new here. A lot of people grow uh, to have tomato cages, but uh, in this case, this is a giant cage. I just shoved the tomatoes inside of them, and, and uh, they're uh, doing quite well. You don't really have to do much with them. I don't even bother pruning them or anything because it's such a big cage and. You get a lot of production out of them, just uh, just growing inside the cage on their own without any pruning. You get uh, you actually get more tomatoes. You can see all the green ones here that are forming. This normally would be filling up the whole cage, but uh, this year the the deer got into my tomatoes, and uh, before I had them in the cage here, so they actually tore this one right out by the roots. It was laying on the ground and I shoved it back in the pot and still growing. It did fine. But normally this one would be probably about six feet tall. Okay, well thanks for watching my video and uh, I just wanted to give an update on uh, my garden. Again, this is uh, about August 19th today, so we're coming towards the end of the season. We've already harvested a lot of the garden here. And uh, now we're coming into the end of the season. Thanks for watching my video.